with us. Gary's in New York. Hi, Gary. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hey, thank you very much. Appreciate you taking my call. Sure. Um, so I have a question, question on gifting. I'm mm-hmm. at a stage in my life where I got plenty of money, and I want to I want to spread the love, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So uh, I have a daughter and son-in-law live in Raleigh. Uh, he's got a small business repairing and building musical instruments. He's doing well. Uh, he's actually had to move once to expand his business, which is good. Mm-hmm. And he's looking at another move. He wants to move farther out of Raleigh because it's expensive there with the rent, and he wants to basically either buy – or build something around five, 6,000 square feet of commercial space so we can expand his business. Mm-hmm. I would now, rent. That's all good? I would rent. You would rent? Okay, mm-hmm. okay. Uh, so my wife and I have been gifting them 60000 uh, K per year. That's the max you can do without hitting the 10% gift tax. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, so I was looking at maybe accelerating his business by gifting him, uh, or I was thinking of him if he would be building or buying uh, rather than renting, uh, that I would give him the money to do that mm-hmm. um, and and do it in a way that would avoid the taxes, which is, let's say, uh, hypothetically, it's 300000 I don't know what it would be, but, but something like that, mm-hmm. uh, that I would get, uh, basically give him a note or a mortgage and then use the gifting that I give him each year for him to pay that back, you know, pay the loan back to me. You can do I that. I was wondering, what do, you th- what do you think of that? There's Versus nothing wrong with that at all. That's, that, in- that's done all the time. Right. Uh, is your uh, okay. is your net worth under twenty five million? It's under it's between ten and twenty. And 20. Yeah, okay, it's in that range. How old are you? Yeah. Uh, Sixty two. Okay, you can you can do the plan you're talking about, and given how high your net worth is, I probably would do the plan you're talking about. Uh, okay. Or okay. you can use up part of. Your estate, your federal estate tax exemption, which right. I believe this year is about twenty-three million. Okay, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and mm-hmm. you could use up, say, three hundred thousand of that. In other words, that much is exempt from federal estate tax. Mm-hmm. So if yeah. you ended yeah. up with, when you died, a thirty million dollar net worth or thirty million dollar estate, and um, mm-hmm. you didn't do any tax planning or any estate planning at all. You would be taxed mm-hmm. on the difference in the exemption, or your your estate would be taxed on the exemption difference in the exemption in the estate size. So thirty million minus twenty three million, seven million be taxable. And so if yeah. you use yeah. up some of your exemption, like three hundred thousand mm-hmm. of it, and your estate mm-hmm. continues to grow, your net worth continues to grow, and you live a while, it will. Yeah. Uh, you could right. get up. You could create taxes for your estate later. Okay. Okay, but okay. there's another possibility is you can do what's called a unified estate tax credit, which you use up some of your estate tax credit while you're alive, but it reduces the amount that's covered when you die. When you die, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you okay. you know you can All go right. you can go that way. I because your net worth is so high and you're 62, you're still young, um, and right. your estate size is so high. You obviously need professional estate tax planning if you haven't gotten that. Yeah, but I um, do. I do. Yeah. Okay, but but. Uh, I wouldn't use up your exemption because you are actually probably going to break it mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, unless yeah. tax law yeah. changes. And I don't know what tax law is going to do. Who knows? I mean, it's right. gone way right. Right. up under Trump, uh, meaning that right. uh, you can have a larger estate that is not taxable So than, mm-hmm, than, mm-hmm. than in a long, long time. So uh, anyway, right. that, that, that's just two possible ways. But your way, you're actually not using up any of your exemption. You're just right. backing off right. your annuals, and every year right. the annuals tend to go up. So mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. you're doing you're right. doing 15 right. each from you and your wife to your son, and law 15 each right. from you and your wife to your daughter, and then right. that that gets you to 60. But when that's 20, you can even do more. So you raise it every year, right. and you do a forgiveness of the loan, and the loan is never recorded, and you have and you right. have in your will that that loan is forgiven at death. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so it's mm-hmm. never. Right going to be collected on right it's right, just sidestepping right. gift tax is all you're doing yep 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 i would and, do it and what do you think about it just a note for, not go through a full mortgage with a lawyer but just do a note yeah i would do a little one page note just something cheesy yep. and cheap off the internet um i mean you could yep. go to mama bear legal forms.com if you want to download one they'll, they'll sell you one for five bucks or something probably um yep. and um uh then just keep it in the file and flip over on the back of it each year and reduce it yep. with handwriting yep. and initial it. Yep. Sounds and that's great. one of your Sounds January great. activities every year. Sounds perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Well done. Good question.